Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. I've been a fan of dual monitors for about 20 years. Think about it. In the pencil and paper world, when you're reading an article and you're taking notes from that article, you sit the article and the notebook side by side. You would never think of putting the article on top of the notebook, reading a little, pulling the notebook out, putting it on top, and writing a little. But you know, that's exactly what we've been doing for years in the digital world. We minimize and maximize windows. And when I first used dual monitors, others said, why? Then they realized that I could easily have two documents side by side. As I'm reading from this Word document, I'm entering data into this Excel spreadsheet uh, right next to it based on what it was that I was reading. I could drag things from one monitor to the other, and the, the little mouse pointer just went from screen to screen. Well, nowadays, we have bigger monitors. And with the improvements in the amount of real estate that we have in front of us, we also have an additional opportunity. Instead of having to have two different monitors for two different images, we can have two, three, four images right on the same screen at the same time. But how to make it happen and do so easily has been kind of a puzzle. Well, Windows 11 has made it easy. So first, you're going to need to turn on one setting. In the search window down in the taskbar at the bottom of your screen, type multitasking. A window appears and you'll be looking for an option called snap windows. Flip the switch to on and you're done. Now the fun begins. With a browser window open on your computer, hover your mouse over that little maximize box that lives in the upper right hand corner of the screen. It's the one that we've always used to toggle that window between full screen versus being able to resize and drag that window around. So when you hover, when you hover over the little box, a set of images appears. With one click, you choose how the open windows are arranged. You see six different options. Split the screen in half, thirds, quarters, and then three other variations on those arrangements. So suppose I click on the option to divide the screen into four equal quarters. I'm going to click on the option that looks like a screen divided into four quarters. But I need to go a step further. I get to decide where the window in which I am working right now will appear. If I click on the image in the upper right corner, that window will now occupy the upper right quarter of the screen. In another quarter of the window, I will see several small images all grouped together, each one representing some of the other windows that are, are available. And so now if I click on one of those, it will now occupy another quarter of the screen. I'll see the remaining selections in a, another quarter of the window. I click on the one I want. It occupies that corner of the screen, that quarter of the screen. And then the uh, uh, remaining windows appear in that last quarter. Click on the one that I want. It takes up that quarter of the window. So now I have four nice displays. If I want to change to something else, just Take the mouse, hover over that little square that I would use to minimize or maximize the windows and uh, choose something else that I'd like to have. Want to rearrange the whole thing? Well, just mouse over the square icon in the upper right of any one of those images. And now you're free to split the screen in any of those six original configurations. With a little practice, splitting the screen into two, three, or four parts will become second nature. If you like what you're getting here, there's plenty more where that came from. If you're not already on my email list, come over to frankbutt.org and join so that you'll never miss a thing. 
I think you'll be delighted with the two free gifts that you get for signing up. And then every week you hear from me about new content. Subscribe to the podcast or the YouTube channel so that you're the first to experience new stuff. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck helping you get organized and make it look easy.